Hey everyone, so today we're going to learn about Terraform. We're going to start off with a quick introduction to what Terraform is, and then we're going to get hands-on with a Hello World example, creating an EC2 instance on AWS, which is running Nginx. So first of all, what is Terraform? Terraform is an infrastructure as code tool, and it's used to provision infrastructure on public or private cloud using code. You can use Terraform to create consistent and predictable environments. So what are the benefits of IAC? So we can automate deployments, creating consistent environments using repeatable processes, and we can create reusable components. And while we're doing all this, Terraform is going to self-document our architecture. So there's a few prerequisites before we can get started. First of all, we need an AWS account, which you can get from the AWS website. We need to have Terraform installed, which we can see how to do that here. On a Mac machine, we can just use Brew, or using Windows, we can use Cocoa. And as well as that, we also need to create an EC2 key pair on the AWS console. So this is the manual step we need to do, and we're gonna do that now by going to services and EC2. And from here, we're gonna click on key pairs, and we're gonna create a key pair. We're just gonna call it demo key pair, and we're gonna use the PEM file format. We're gonna create that. And now that it's in our downloads folder, we just want to remove that to the working directory we're in here. So to do that, I'm just gonna say move, downloads, demo, key pair, and we're gonna move it to our current working directory. And we can see it's here now. So the next thing we want to do is create two files. So we need to create a module.tf file, and we also need to create a terraform.tf virus file. So first of all, we're gonna work in this terraform.tf virus file, and we're gonna have four variables. So we need to have AWS access key. We're gonna have AWS secret key. We're gonna have key name. And we're gonna have private key path. And now we're gonna start filling these out. So first of all, the key name, we know we just created it there, it's called demo keeper. And our private key path, this is quite easy because it's just in our current working directory. And it's called demo key pair dot PEM. So now for the AWS access key and AWS secret key, we're gonna grab these from the console now and I'm gonna create some, and don't worry, I'm gonna delete them after this video, so you don't need to try to use them yourself. So you're gonna to have to go to your AWS console, and from here, we're gonna create a new access key, and we can click show access key here to show the values. So the ID, we're gonna copy that and paste it in here, and the secret is the bottom one, and we're gonna paste it in as well. As I said, don't worry, I'm gonna delete these after, so you don't need to try to use them, you can create your own. So we're gonna save that, and we're gonna move into our module.tf file, where we can start to use these variables. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna have a variable section, and by the way, this is just a comment in Terraform, you don't need this, but I just like to lay out my code like this. We're gonna have a variable section, we're gonna have a provider section, we're gonna have a data section, and we're gonna have a resources section. These are all the things we need in our Terraform file. So first of all, we're gonna create our variables. The first one is AWS access key. And this is just gonna grab the variable from this file. So we're gonna use the same thing for a secret key. and key name. And the last one we need is private key path. And 
So we've defined our variables. The next thing is our providers. So we're going to be using AWS in this video. So we're going to say provider AWS. And now we need to pass in the variables so that AWS knows who we are. So the first one is our access key. And it's going to be equal to var dot access key, var dot AWS access key, sorry. And the next one is secret key. This is going to equal to var dot AWS secret key. And this is just grabbing the variables from where they're defined up here. And the last thing we need is region. And we're going to put this in a variable as well. So I need to create that here. And we're going to use a default region. And to get this region, we need to see in the console which region we created our AWS, our EC2 key pair in. So if we go into EC2, we can see that our default region is Virginia. So it is US East 1. So we're going to grab this and copy that. So that is our default region, US East 1. And that's being used in our provider. So the next thing we need to do now that we have our provider defined is we need to initialize our Terraform project. So to do that, we can use Terraform init. And this is going to download the plugin that Terraform needs to interact with AWS. And I might already have the plugin, so it won't need to download it. It actually is downloaded again. So I guess for every project, it's probably downloading this plugin. So Terraform has been successfully initialized and it knows our provider. So that's cool. The next thing we need to do is define our data. So we might need to pull down some data from AWS so we can use it in our resources. So in this example, we're going to create an EC2 instance. So the data we need to pull down is the AMI or the machine image that we need for our EC2 instance. So we're going to say data AWS AMI and this is going to be a Linux AMI. So we're just going to say AWS Linux. And now we're going to put some options in here. So first of all, we're going to want the most recent. So we're going to say that is true. And we're going to define the owner. So we're going to say owners. And we want the owner to be Amazon. So now we're going to add some filters to be able to filter which image we want. So first of all, filter. We're going to filter based on the name. And the values is going to be Amazon, AMI, HVM. So this is only going to look at AMIs that have this at the start of their name. And this is a wildcard, so this followed by anything. So we want to add one more filter. And the name of this one is going to be root device type. And the values this time is going to be EBS. This is inside a list. Cool. So now we're pulling down the data that we need. We're ready to start creating our resources. So the first resource that we're going to need to create is our VPC. So to do that, we're going to say resource AWS default VPC default that. So the next resource we need is a AWS security group. So to do that, I would normally head over to Google and I can say Terraform AWS security group. And we can see the first result here. In the Terraform documentation, they show us how to create a AWS security group. So this doesn't do exactly what we want, but we can change it to do what we want. So first of all, I'm going to change the name to be more appropriate. I'm going to say allow SSH and HTTP 80. We can remove the description and we're going to use the same name here. here. For the VPC ID, we're going to use 
the default VPC of above. So AWS default VPC dot default dot ID. So that's going to grab the ID from that VPC. And now we need our ingress and our egress. Again, I'm going to remove the description to make it simple. And the port is going to be 22 to 22 because this is the SSH port, which is going to allow us to connect via SSH. For the CIDR blocks, we are going to allow connections from everywhere because we want to be able to connect from our local laptop. So to do that, I'm going to say 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 forward slash 0. And we need one more ingress to allow traffic to port 80, which is how we're going to visit it in the web browser. So port 80 and port 80. And again, we're going to allow those connections from any, everywhere. For the egress, we can leave that as it is because we're going to allow outbound traffic to anywhere. So that was our security group. And now we're ready to create our EC2 instance. And again, the best way to do this is probably to go to Google and say AWS instance with Terraform. And this top one should give us a good starting point. So this example actually gives us a bunch of things we already did. So it's defining our provider and grabbing our AMI. So we're just going to get this resource at the bottom. It's all we need. And we're going to change this a little bit. So we're going to change the web to Nginx. And for the AMI, we're going to grab the AMI that we had up above. So to do that, we're going to say data dot AWS AMI dot AWS Linux dot ID. So that's going to grab the ID from the resource that we grabbed up here from the data we grabbed. Next, the instance name is fine. We want a T2 micro, which is small. And now we want to define our key name. So this is going to allow us to connect. So the key name is the one we defined up above. So we can say var key name and security group. IDs. So here we're going to add the IDs of our security group. So we just have one, which is AWS security group dot allow SSH HTTP 80 dot ID. So again, this is the resource we created up above the security group. So we're just tying that to our AWS instance. And now we're going to create a connection. And the connection is going to have a type, which is SSH. It's going to have a host, which is just going to be this. When I say self, this is referencing itself. So this own resource. So we want the host to be self.publicIP. And we're going to use a user. The user is just going to be called EC2 user. And we're going to use a private key to connect. And this is going to use the private key we defined above in our variable. So we have private key path. So here we can use a Terraform function called file. And this is going to grab the contents of a file. And the file we wanted was the private key path. So once we have that connection, what do we want to do? We want a provisioner. And the provisioner is going to be a remote execution. Remote exec. So what do we want the execution to do? So we're just going to define it inline, which is a list. And the first thing we're going to do is sudo yum install. Nginx. And this is going to install Nginx for us. And then we want to start the service. So sudo service Nginx start. So this is going to install Nginx and start it on this EC2 instance. And the last thing, which I forgot, is output. So once all of these resources have been created, we might want some output to print to the screen. So we're just going to define an output. And we're going to call it AWS instance public DNS. So we might want to know the public DNS so we can connect to it through the browser or via SSH. And the value here is going to be AWS instance dot nginx 
dot public DNS. So this is going to grab the public DNS from this instance we created and print it to our terminal. So now if I save, we are ready to get started. So we've already initialized our project using Terraform init and that downloaded the AWS plugin. So the next stage we need to do is Terraform plan and we're going to pipe the output to a file called module.tfplan. So it looks like there's one mistake here. So where we're referencing our AMI, this should be data.aws AMI because that is the name I gave it here. So let's try to run again. So one more mistake. This file, we're using the private key path, but this private key path is a var, so I need var, which is referencing the variable that we defined up here. So third time lucky. So that time it seems to have worked. And we're just going to look at the output for a minute. So if we go up to the top, we can see what it was doing. So for plan, this isn't actually creating any resources. This is planning the creation and it's going to tell us the changes it would need to make. So this is saying that if we decide to create this, then Terraform will do the following. It's going to create this VPC. It's going to create an AWS instance with all of this information. It's going to create this security group. And it's telling us that it would add three resources, change zero and destroy zero. So we can apply that now using this command, apply module.tfplan. So this is going to apply the changes that we planned. So if we hit enter, so that took a minute, but it's created our three resources and we could look back at all the output, but one thing we can see here is the output that we defined is this AWS instance public DNS and we can see that this is it here. So if we copy that and go back in the browser and look here, we can see that our EC2 instance is running Nginx and we were able to visit that in the browser. So that's really cool. We can also go back to the dashboard and if we hit refresh, we should see one running instance now. So we can see it's running, it created our security group, we can see all the stuff it created. So when you create an AWS account, it gives you access to create a bunch of free resources for a limited time. If we were to leave these up, we might start getting charged a little bit of money. So we can delete these resources using Terraform Destroy. So now it's just asking us, are we sure we want to destroy all of these? We can say yes. So now we can see all of our resources have been destroyed. We can also go back to the console to make sure when we refresh, we should have no running instances. And as you can see, they've been deleted. So this has been getting started with Terraform. Hope it helped you out and I'll see you next time.